guys! So today's video is going to be what I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just haven't found a way to really do it. But um, anyways, I'm really excited. This is my Polybor videos, and just for a disclaimer, I am not being paid by Polybor to advertise or promote this website, but it is a very good website and I do wish you to check it out. And yeah, you'll see why in a few seconds when I explain to you what Polybor is. I don't know if many beauty gurus and fashion gurus have mentioned Polybor, but um, Polybor is basically a site, or a site where you can style outfits and make sets. Like, you can do more than just outfits. You can create art. You can just, like, make wish lists and stuff like that. You can make collections of all your favorite. You can get fashion advice. And what's really cool is you can style outfits to make an outfit. Like, let me show you. like that. And that is going to be my first outfit I'm going to actually show you. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the outfits I styled and then I'm going to tell you kind of what I think about them, why I styled them, like what kind of event they would be for and yeah. So <laughs> enjoy the video. I'm going to show that outfit one more time. So this outfit is something I created today. It was actually for a contest, which, again, this is... Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by my sister, I was saying that I matched it with some jeans that were floral print, and these are perfect. They are a statement piece, which is something everyone needs in their closet, but I will not get into detail about that because that is something I will say for a later video on styling. But um, I had the opportunity to pair it with either... A yellow shirt, a blue shirt, or a coral shirt, like a pink coral shirt. And, I mean, I guess you could pair with any colored shirt, but those are the ones that I thought would be most appropriate since they went with the, they were the color of the pants, and since the shoes were blue, and I think coralish pink, like a red, that kind of color, is very nice for spring. So I did that, and I got a pendant necklace with it that was that has turquoise on it, which is also perfect because it matches the pants. I got a fedora, which is really, really springtime. A few bangle bracelets. Um, I got some turquoise earrings to match it in that set. Um, I think the turquoise and the coralish pink look really nice together. And, yeah, that was pretty much the first outfit. The next outfit is a very girly piece, as you can see. Um, very, I love these colors for spring. Like, florals is a very spring thing. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that florals will always be a trend for spring and summer. Because, I don't know, flowers, spring, duh. But, anyways. What I've... My dog just walked into the room. She pushed it open. I don't know if you can see her. Like, she just wiped her tail. Anyways. Um, this could have had a gray tank top underneath it, but I put, paired it with a long sleeve shirt just because, you know, it's kind of still cold, it, depending on where you live. So, yeah. And a lot of things are kind of from Gossip Girl. Well, they're not from Gossip Girl, but they're inspired by Gossip Girl, like Blair's outfits, because she is, she has been my role model in fashion since the, since, um, the show started. So, whenever I think of an outfit, I think of what you could wear in New York, and I know it snows there, and I, well, I don't know if it's per se snows there, but I know it gets really cold there, I know it can be really humid, hot, but, um, whenever I see her outfits, they're, like, really a cute dress and a coat, headband, and tights, um, so I'm just thinking this is really cute, and I love light pink, and it's just so cute, like, baby pink, it's just perfect for spring, so, yeah. This is the last outfit of the night, and what I was just previously saying about the New York thing, I could see Blair Waldorf wearing this. I would personally wear it myself if I were in New York, because, I don't know, I just love, I don't know, I love New York's fashion since everyone's so glamorous, and in California, everyone's more relaxed, but in L.A., or in L.A. and California, everyone's more relaxed. In New York, everyone's, like, very, always stylish, glamorous, you know, I just, I love New York fashion. I mean, I love LA fashion, but there's nothing like New York's fashion. Paris fashion. 
Milan fashion, Italian fashion. Anyways, before I go completely crazy, um, yeah, so I love this color red. It's one of my favorite colors, and it actually complements my skin really well, so it might not complement your skin, so maybe a dress in a different color, but... I love I love that color red, like that dark red. And also with the tights and the jacket. That is so cute. I love the jacket. I just, I don't know. It's so cute and it matches perfectly. And also the tights are, I love patterned tights. I've gotten to a point where I'm sick and tired of just plain tights. I just, I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> no plain tights. No bueno. So that was my video, and um, I want to make some more of those. This is like probably my favorite thing because I, I want to be a stylist. I'm actually going to, I'm pretty sure, I mean I haven't applied, but I'm going to apply to FITM, the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. And if I go, I want to major in visual communications. I, I would love to be a celebrity stylist or like a set stylist, or just like dress the mannequins in Forever 21, H&M, like Charlotte Rue, stuff like that. Um... Also designing window displays. Yeah, just fun stuff like that. But I also have another video coming soon. I I was actually thinking of making a February favorites. And this is one of them. Because I've actually started reading this book after Christmas. And it's the sequel to The White Queen and The Red Queen. Which is funny because this book was before it. But um, I will probably make a video on that tomorrow. But I will see you guys later.